first thing we're going to do is drape the surgery site so we maintain a good sterile feel where we're operating. I'm going to apply towel clamps, which look mean, but they're just little pinches in the skin. And these are the whole, the, the draping position so that the sterile field is maintained. We have only a sterile area here now to work within. And we don't have to worry about contaminating our surgery site. Now, we're ready to go. Surgery starts. Now you're not going to see much of what I'm doing, but then it's more to show you the ideas behind the surgery. Um, certainly don't want someone learning how to do this themselves at home. Joke. Okay, here we go. Now, please look away if you're squeamish. Free clamp tie. You see, it doesn't take very long to dissect the motor door. Even ones bigger than this. The noise you're hearing in the background is the anaesthetic monitors. Find some 2 I got. Now I'm ligating the stomatic cord and blood vessels on the first side. Ligating means tying. It's just a technical word for tying in order to stop blood supply so that it won't bleed when we cut it off, which is what we're going to do between the next two clamps. And there goes the first little bell. Now we repeat the process on the second side. making it look a bit easy. I've been doing this for 20 years. Uh, when I first did my first one, I couldn't work out where to cut and I had to get the, the, the um, demonstrator over to show me what to do several times, but it becomes second nature after all these years. We do a few of these every day. And um, this is my dog. And you can see that I believe that male dogs should be sex. My own dog is, I'm doing him today because yesterday at training classes he started showing the first hints of inter-dog aggression um, and I'm pretty sure that's a sign of sexual maturity approaching. Um, I certainly don't want a dog with any hints of aggression towards other dogs. It's a beautiful dog and I want to keep him that way. So the sexing will help me. It won't be the only thing, I still have to work on him. I still have to have all that training but the sexing is a big part of allowing male dogs to socialise well in the city with lots of other dogs without that assertion of, um, yeah, I guess we'd call it status or uh, status related aggression that occurs between male dogs. We certainly don't like that. And, um, for example, male dogs, undersex male dogs are often excluded from dog parks for that reason. So, they do cause friction. We're going to already be suturing. So we've ligated and removed both testicles. That procedure will probably only take about 10 to 15 minutes. Don't time me. It's slow as I'm talking. <coughs> I'm a bit nervous with my own dog, but thankfully, I've done this enough times. I'm not very superstitious about things going wrong just with my own dog. And it's important to know that things do not routinely go wrong with dissexing operations. You can hear the monitoring in the background. This dog is also on intravenous fluids. And that intravenous fluids, through an infusion pump, so we know they're getting the dose we want them to get, is also not just there for access to put 
drugs in if we need it, it also helps maintain blood pressure. One of the things the monitor is doing in the background is measuring blood pressure. At the moment, blood pressure is good, heart rate is good, oxygenation is good, core body temperature is good. This dog, of course, has been insulated, and he is, because he's a small dog with a very poor coat from an insulation perspective, he will lose, lose body temperature quickly if we don't do something about it. And so that's what we're doing in terms of the uh, insulation he's had. Um, and body temperature reduction will certainly influence um, how his anaesthetic grows, and it is quite dangerous if we're not careful. Chihuahuas, of course, are the worst example of that. You have to be very, very careful with them. We think we do a pretty good job. We can uh, insulate a dog before surgery so that they should not lose appreciable body temperature. And uh, this guy's got a little jacket we made for him just before surgery underneath the drapes. Um, the smaller the dog, the younger the dog, cat, any other animal, ferret, rabbit, the more at risk they are. And so we have to be very careful as their size goes down to be sure that we maintain body temperature. Um, but of course that's only part of running an anaesthetic. The nurse across from me is doing a lot of work keeping an eye on the anaesthetic. She's checking anaesthetic depth through a number of parameters. She's adjusting the isoflurane dose, which is the anaesthetic we're using at the moment. It's a gas given through with the oxygen. Class some skin suit, please. We nearly finished now. We induced him with a drug called propofol, which is the same drug used, well, as you do in hospital. This is a hospital. We're, we're doing the same thing that you would get if you or I received an anaesthetic in most places in Australia. Propofol, anaesthetic with an opiate analgesic and then isoflurane and oxygen maintenance. And it's a modern, safe, easily controlled anaesthetic which we can start when we want and stop when we want. And recovery is good and as we said, safety is fantastic. We really regard this as something that every dog should have and with great care which you hopefully you can see, we do not expect to lose a single one. So every puppy, every kitten, every ferret, every rabbit should all be desexed. And that's the procedure completed. So I hope that's been of use. I hope that's not been too gruesome. Thank you very much.